All right, guys. Uh, so now we went from the outside. Now we're going to the inside. This is where all of the work really happened was in here. So I took a cargo trailer. I pulled all the walls off. I checked all the electrical wiring. I went through and found any holes, screw holes, any creases that had light coming in, sealed them off, insulated this trailer, ran electrical wiring through it for electrical plugs, for my lights, for my fans. And then I went through and put a nice beadboard down on the walls, also on the ceiling with liquid nails. And then for the floor, I did a floating floor with luxury vinyl plank. Has a 20 year warranty on it, it's super, super durable, it's waterproof. Um, I've been very happy with it and aesthetically it looks really, really nice. Um, for my bed, this is a Murphy slap bed. So I took ideas from school buses, from vans, for efficient space usage, um, but also being able to have a full size bed whenever I want to. So whenever I'm traveling, this folds straight up to the wall and locks into place. Uh, when I'm by myself, I have the ability to just drop this down. I took a queen size memory foam mattress, cut it in half with a bread knife. Uh, half of it's in here, the other half's in my truck whenever I want to use that. I just unlatch this. This is going to slide all the way out, put another mattress right in here, and I have a full true queen size mattress inside this trailer whenever I want to. So as you guys come in, I've got E-Track on the floor. Um, after a couple of trips, I realized all my stuff is sliding around, so I put this down so I have plenty of places to bungee and strap all of my gear down. I've been very happy with it so far. Uh, one of the excited things I did was build this countertop and my kitchen right here. Um, so if you see, I actually just took a bar stool from Walmart and put some extra Mimi from and a nice little top to it right there. This slides underneath all of my stuff. I have a post right here, so this is really nice and sturdy. Built a hidden spice rack underneath, as you can see there. If I do need to put this down whenever I'm traveling or I have the bed all the way out, all I do is pull this out of the track, drop that down, and now it's just part of my kitchen cabinet. Um, as you come in and look at the rest of my kitchen, let me clean up, the wind's blowing this morning. So I have electric here, I have a stereo system, Bluetooth, um, and my stereo speaker right through there so I can jam out some good tunes. I remove the inside of my counter space right here. I've got six gallons of water I'm storing in here for drinking and cooking with. Um, and I have a very nice deep kitchen in here if I need to wash my clothes, dishes, anything I need, I have access to it right here and it's storage for whenever I'm actually on the road cover this up. I wanted as much counter space as possible so I put this where I can put it right back in and then also as you guys can see I put a wall mounted kitchen sink so it gives me more space right through here. The faucet folds out of the way when I don't need it. I've got a place for soap up top. Um, over here I found a little slat wall right here on the side of the road. Cleaned it up. I've got my spices from the spice rack right up here. I've got my coffee from Zero Tolerance out of Oklahoma City. And I've got my paper towels right here. I've got my kitchen cabinet. I use some 8x10 picture frames uh, that I'll put some of my photography um, on that in foam. And then I can go through, have all my storage for gear up in here. Now, before we get too far, I know you guys are seeing this, wondering what this is. This is my AC and my heat unit. This is also known as a mini split. These are used for houses. It's a 9,000 BTU. You saw the main body unit outside. This is my control um, coming on the inside thermostat right there so I can set the temperature. We were here two nights ago, it was 31 degrees. We actually had this so warm so quick, we actually had to turn the temperature down Last night it was in the 40s. We set it at 69 and we're toasty as can be. Uh, whenever it does warm up, the AC in this will freeze this out really, really fast. Um, uh, going along with that, I also have my exhaust fan that I installed from Max Fan. And uh, I've got four speeds. This only brings exhaust out so I can open up the windows, open the doors, and that's gonna pull all the hot air out whenever I need that. Also, whenever I'm taking a shower, I turn this on so I can keep any moisture out of my trailer. Speaking of, I have my shower right here behind me. Kind of see, it's kind of awkward. There's not a shower pan or anything like that. You're trying to figure out what's going on. 
Well, I actually have a livestock tank that's outside. I bought from Atwoods for $30. It sits right in here. I have two shower curtains that I have on this ceiling track um, that go around and I just tuck it into the tub. I can take a shower inside. I also have a holder for the shower head outside on my door and I can take shower on the outside as well with the shower tin I have. I have a holder for my towel. I have a, just on a quick carabiner, this is removable uh, for when I'm on the road, but I put all my soaps and everything on here, my towels. As you can see right behind it, I actually have a tank. This holds 35 gallons of water. I only fill this up whenever I'm boondocking at a location for multiple days um, so that I'm not carrying so much tongue weight whenever I'm on the road. Um, but it's working very, very well for me. Um, now on the inside of my closet right here, I found my nice little T-Rex door handle. I'm super excited about that. I have my Goal Zero Yeti 1500X. Now this is connected to a fuse panel I have in here. This is running every single thing in this trailer and powering it, except for my mini split unit that I run off of shore power. Um, so you can see my water pump, I have accumulators, I've got half inch PEX running all of my plumbing in here. I have a Gasland propane hot water tank that's instant hot water. It's working extremely well and I have my breaker box in there for shore power as well. I've got storage in there. As you can see, I have my propane vented out down through the floor so I can keep any fumes from getting in here. Just to be safe, I did put a smoke detector and a CO2 detector in here in the trailer with me. Um, I have a small closet right here. My shower curtain's kind of hiding. I just keep all my excess storage and stuff in there. My shower pan, whenever I'm traveling, stays in there. And then also my porta potty is in there as well. Um, so that's everything I have on the inside of my trailer. If you guys have any questions, just uh, send a message and a comment below and I'll get back to you guys.